with only a couple of days left in the season, we're going to be pushing the ladder. Hopefully we can go very high. Um, let's see how well can I do in the ladder. We're going to be using my main deck, of course, to push and hopefully go up pretty far in the leaderboards. Let's see how well can I do. My name is Tim Mike, and I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Yoki doke. So first match, um, if we, I would like to get to four thousand trophies, but to get there, I need like three hundred and twelve. So it's going to be very difficult, but anything is possible, I guess. So he starts off by hitting the paladin and the shaman. That's fine with me. Since the armadillo does go next, let's just nerf his attack. There we go. Also multi hitting the armadillo there and shooting a cannon towards the goblin. So that was a pretty good, a uh, pretty good play. All right, so the armadillo goes next. Thankfully, he has armadillo with nothing to, you know, to use his ability on us. So that's good. We could heal up or just go for damage here. Since the mice bandit does go next, he's probably just going to multi-hit the, the shaman to kill him. And of course, we don't want that. So let's just do this and, of course, hit the armadillo, I guess. Should the cannon, sadly, we missed to deal damage to the knight. It's fine. It's going to hit the paladin here, it seems like. Yep, and plus a cannon. Oh, also the mice bandit, okay. So, that's fine. Let's just hit both of the, uh, the mice bandit for sure, and hopefully the goblin. If we can also heal up the shaman, that would be a good play too. So let's see. How did we miss the heals? But thankfully we got the enchantment, but I cannot believe we missed the heals. Um, Alright, so Naga does go next. So this is where we can now try to deal as much damage as possible towards his enchanted units. And let's actually go for the goblin, so this way I can also heal up the Naga. Yep, there you go. Also healing up the Frost Fox because that might spend it well on the journey. Towards the Frost Fox, dealt damage. Alright, so Knight goes next. Thankfully the Knight does, is not too scary for me. Um, let's just hit the Mice Bandit towards the Cannon. The Cannon should also hit the Armadillo. If we might be able to hit the Knight with the Frost Fox, let's see. Yes, we do. We also enchanted the Knight. Let's go. So there we go, we got three units enchanted. Um, so the Shaman already did his job. Frost Fox is pretty much at full health. Um, I, he may have surrendered, who knows? I think he did surrender because he's not making a play right now. Holy guacamole, ladies and gentlemen. We got we got a first win, which is good. So off to a pretty good start here. Um, let's see if we can continue on winning. This person should just surrender. But yeah, this person is definitely not surrendering, so. He's, he's gonna make me waste my time here, sadly. Let's just do this, take out the Mice Bandit just in case if he comes back. Yeah, he's he's not gonna come back. Instead of surrendering, of course, he just turns, turned off the phone just to make me waste my time, which is a very childish thing to do, in my opinion. If you're if you're mad, just surrender. There's a reason why there's a surrender button, you know? Um. Oh well, let's just hit the Armadillo, I guess. There's, there's that. Healing up the Naga just for, you know, just make his life a little bit more miserable if he comes back, which I highly doubt. And, uh, yep, this this final turn will make him force surrender here. And, yes, he will. Yep, alright. So, there you go with that. Let's just, you know, hit a cannon, just, why not? And we just automatically win. Alright, so, off to a pretty good, decent start. He surrendered. I mean, I do apologize for the wait, but... There be people like that, you know? 30 trophies, so we are 37-18, so we're off to a pretty good start here. Let's see if we can continue on even higher. Uh, I'll be right back. Yo, kidok. So, let's see how well can we do in this matchup against the heal deck, okay? Very strange that there's no frog mystic. He has the paladin, but not frog mystic. Okay. So he's going to hit the rocketeer only once, so the rocketeer only has two rockets, which is good. Let's see if we can enchant... What was that... I don't get why that bug happens with the Paladin. I don't know if you guys saw it or not, but um, that's a very strange bug that I keep seeing, you know? Or should we just do this? Just hit the just hit the cannon on both of these guys. Do we enchant somebody? Yes, we do. We do enchant the, the priest at least. And he's going to definitely shoot the... He's going for the Frostwax and Shaman. Interesting choice, okay? Interesting choice. Um, let's, let's, let's enchant the Paladin here. Since the Paladin does go next, or sorry, not the Paladin, um, the Paladin doesn't go next. I meant to say the, um, the Priest goes next, but, you know, nerfing his damage will be good. 
Frostbox did take a little bit of damage there, but we are still going to be okay. He is going to buff up the Rocketeer for sure. Right here. Yep. Rocketeer has three rockets. Great. Um, let's definitely heal up the Frostbox for sure. This should also enchant the Rocketeer. There we go. There we go. Lots of heals. Let's freaking go. We got lots of heals right there. If he just met, if he, oh no, he's going to deal lot, lots of damage to the, to the, to the Frost Fox here. Please stay alive, Frost Fox. Frost Fox is still alive. Holy guacamole, just barely. Let's actually multi-hit the, the priest here. Let's see if we can shoot a cannon towards the Kong. Or somehow, you know, to make the Frost Fox heal up a little bit more. Let's see. No, we don't, but we do take out his priest, sadly. The Paladin was very close to heal up there, but sadly, it, it, we missed. It's all good. Um, he's going after the Frost Fox, so the Frost Fox is dead. All right. Um, let's see. Um, I would like to take out his Rocketeer, obviously. How much health does he have? 900 health. This should push the Rocketeer towards the Naga. Yep, there you go. So, that's good, because his main attack is dead. And uh, all we gotta do is honestly take out either or troops, so that way none of them can use their abilities when they're alone. So let's see what he does here, unless he you know surrenders again. This might be another person that just surrendered. Yep, this person surrendered, or you know not surrender per se. He just turned off his phone, got mad. There is a reason why there is a surrender button, guys. So let's do this. Oh, also hitting the Paladin. I actually did not expect to hit the Paladin there, but that was fine. But yeah, this person is not making any plays, just making me waste my time yet again. So, that sucks, but what can you do, right? Um, just, I think just double hitting the Kong here, it's going to be the play. So let's just do that real quick. Also healing up the Naga, because why not? And, uh, yep. Only the Paladin is left alive, of course, we know that he just threw his phone against the wall, breaking his phone, whatever the, the, the case may be. But, you know, this person just quit. It's fine. Um, the game will force surrender no matter what happens, but, you know, just let's just take out the Paladin right here, I guess. So, bada bing, bada boom. Another good win right there against a very strong deck, Rocketeer. He did start off pretty okay. I think the I think the what made what changed the game there was the Rocketeer going second with him only buffing up the Rocketeer once. Him only having two rockets instead of you know three or four definitely uh definitely was a game changer for me there. We are 3747. Let's continue on. Alright, so we got two wins in the books. We are doing pretty well. We are facing another heal deck, no Rocketeer though. He has Enchantress, which is a very interesting choice. Um he says good luck, let me give him the good luck very soon. Good luck. We do enchant the Paladin. Okay, that's fine that we enchanted the Paladin there. Um, he is going to just hit the Enchantress, or sorry, the Shaman there. He did not, he did not enchant any troop, which was a very interesting choice. Can we enchant both the Kong and the Priest here? No, we don't. We missed the Priest, all right. Uh, he might just heal up the... No, he's, no, actually, he's gonna want to keep the Kong down, downward so that way he can deal damage. And there you go. Yep, he will deal damage right there towards the Naga. And that's fine. Um, let's actually do this. Push the Naga towards the Kong, of course, healing him up. And we might be able to hit the Shaman towards the Priest, maybe? Let's see. No, we don't. But we do double hit the Kong, at least. He is not using the Enchantress's ability. He will use the Kong's ability, though. So very well played, very well played. He is playing very, very well, gotta say, when it comes to the Kong. Um, let's double hit the Enchantress here. He's still saying good luck. Okay, now I don't know if he's just trying to get into my head or something, I don't know. But at least, you know, my camera is, is blocking him from saying those things, you know. He will hit the Naga. Shaman also got hit. The Naga should stay alive. Yeah, the Naga is still alive. Can we double hit the Kong just to take him out? So that way he stops using the Kong's ability. Yep, there you go. Kong is dead. He's still saying good luck. Okay, now this person is just kidding around or something. I'm actually surprised that he hasn't enchanted any troop yet. He is going only straight damage instead of enchanting. 
He does take out the shaman. Okay. So let's just focus on. Honestly, let's just heal up the Naga here. Heal up the Naga. And then hit the priest. There you go. Oh, also the cannonball there hitting the um the paladin. That was a pretty good play. Now he's going to enchant. No, he's going for cannon. Is he? No. Wait, he's going to heal up plus enchant. Okay, there you go. Okay, so now this is going to be a little bit dangerous because, of course, Paladin is enchanted with the attack buff. So let's focus more on the Paladin here. So let's do this. There we go. Lots of damage. There we go. All right, so lots of damage right there. He is going to take out the Naga, maybe? No, not quite. Not quite. Very close, but not quite. Um, I guess we will double hit the Enchanters here. Bada bing, bada boom. Also healing up the, the, the Naga. Let's go. Let's go. All right. Um, he's going to heal up the Enchantress. Okay. And maybe even the Priest. Yes, he does. All right. So this person is getting... This person is getting on my nerves. Not going to lie. This person is getting on my nerves. Let's just heal up the Naga once more. We might be able to shoot the cannon at the Priest. No, we don't. We completely missed the cannon. All right. So that was a bad play on my part. Um, he is going to hit the Frost Fox. No, he's going to heal up the Priest. Okay, this person... This person is playing really well. Wow, he took out my Naga there. Okay. He took out my Naga. So, let's... Let's heal up. Plus hit the Paladin here. We do double hit. Okay, so that's good. We do double hit the Paladin there. We have to take out his Paladin. His Paladin is the one that's, you know, giving me such a very hard time. Alright, so... How much health does his Paladin have? 1,400. Mm. Can we do this to push the Paladin towards my Frost Fox? Let's see. There we go. We were. We were actually able to do it. So now his Paladin has 100 health. He is going to just deal damage to my Paladin. My Paladin died. Okay, that sucks. Oh, no, wait. My Paladin is still alive. Okay, that's fine. So let's do this. Plus heal up my Frost Fox fully. So there you go with that. Bada boom, bada boom. All right, so let's see if he is he should I guess enchant his priest so that way he can deal damage. Because if he doesn't, I'm just going to focus on his priest, of course. Yeah, and of course he failed to hit the frost fox, so that was kind of a waste of a play technically. Um, so let's hit the priest like this. Hopefully this will be a double hit. Yes, we were. Plus, actually hitting the cannon onto the enchantress, which I did not expect to do. So, he's just going straight damage. Thankfully, he is not enchanting. So, let's... This should hit the enchantress plus the priest here. Ah, we missed the priest. Yeah, we missed the priest. That was not a good play. Not a good play. Not a good play. I wanted to hit the priest. Alright, so he is going for that. He might actually enchant the priest here. He he got it. Okay, he got it. All right. So now we do do we definitely do need to hit the priest. Did you hit both of them though? Yes, we do. We actually got both of them. That's good. His priest has six hundred health, so we can't take him out in one hit. Thankfully, he missed the double hit right there. And uh, let's see if we can. Yeah, just take out the priest first, and then we'll take out the enchantress right here. Bada bing, bada boom. Of course, a, uh, another hit right there just to make his life a little bit miserable because we are constantly healing. And there we go. We finally finished that match. That was a very long match because it was all heals and whatnot. But there you go with that, guys. We got 3770. We got three wins in a row. Let's continue on. Yoki Dok, so we got three wins in a row, we got 3770 trophies, so, so far for off to a pretty good start here. My Shaman goes first, which is honestly such a good start. Uh, let's definitely enchant the Warrior and the Knight here, especially the Knight since the Knight does go next. He is definitely going to push the Assassin towards the Shaman. The Shaman might actually die here, especially if the, he gets a double hit. Thankfully, he does, doesn't get a double hit there. And with the Naga going next, we might be able to hit both. Um, I would like to double hit the Knight, but I don't think we're going to be able to... Or should we just actually enchant the Cultist here? Yeah, let's actually enchant the Cultist since it's a Cultist. Mm -hmm. Let's go next. Sorry about the notification. Let that go away real quick. He's going to use the Assassin Sensibility again. He will hit... He'll hit somebody. The Paladin, that's fine. 
He only hits the Paladin right there, and now let's just deal damage to, say, to his Assassin, since the Assassin is the only one that is not enchanted. So let's do this right here. Double hit plus hopefully hit the Warrior. There we go. Perfection. Alright, so let's see what he does with his Assassin. Ooh, lots of damage. Well played, lots of damage right there. But let's actually, you know, hit the Assassin here. Plus, hopefully heal up the Naga and the Frost Fox here. Only the Frost Fox, okay. And the Assassin has 300 health. Alright, so we'll take out him in one hit. He takes out my Paladin, sadly. Um, let's see, the Knight does go next. Let's just hit the Warrior, I guess. Warrior towards the Naga. Yeah, let's just do that. Oh, never mind, we missed the Naga. Oops, not the play that I wanted to do, but we still did damage. Alright, so he's going to push the Assassin, hopefully... Wow, he got the Naga. Wow, okay. So that sucks, and the Shaman is already almost dead. Okay, not good. Let's just hit both the Assassin here and hopefully the Warrior. And we definitely need to take out his Cultist as quick as possible. Oh, can we shoot the Cannon? Yes! Look at that damage! There we go, that was like, what, 16, 1700 damage to the, to the Cultist there just because of the Cannon. That was good. Alright, so he's just going for damage and hopefully he misses the runes here. He missed. Alright, so thankfully he missed the runes there, so that's good for us. So I guess the best thing we can do is just continuously push to heal up the Frost Fox here towards the Cultist. And then the, you know, the Frost Fox can handle a lone knight, especially if, it's, if he's enchanted right there. A cannon again, hitting the Cultist right there. So now the Cultist has 7 health, that's funny. Alright, so let's see if he plays well here with the Cultist. And... That will hit the... Wow, well played. That will hit the, the, um, the Frost Fox there. We might be able to hit the Knight here with the cannon? Who knows? Let's see. No, we don't. Alright, so we healed up the, the Frost Fox once. You know, the Knight has, you know, 4,800 health. Remember his shield, so practically over 5,000 health. So a little bit scary, but... Honestly, we should be fine as long as we continuously heal up the Frost Fox here. So... And his his only choice of winning, or you know, his best bet of winning, is to shoot the cannon towards the frost fox, since that will deal more damage to me. And look at that triple heal, plus dealing like eighteen hundred damage to him. All right, so it's going for the double hit, misses the double hit. Yeah, this person cannot do much, especially with a lone knight. So this is definitely going to be a, a good game for us right here. He knows that he surrenders. At least this person surrendered. Golly. We've been having lots of players that have been surrendering left and right, but at least this person actually, or, you know, you know, quitting the game instead of surrendering. This person actually surrendered, which I'm actually surprised. Thank you very much for actually surrendering right there. And uh, there you go. But that, ladies and gentlemen, we got the orb slots filled. 38-18. Let's, um, let's continue on. Yo, Kidok. So, hey, we got four wins in a row, so we're doing pretty good. Ooh, tree and wraith combo. Not happy about that, but at least he starts off with the paladin, which is not a good start for him. He will use the cannon for damage, okay? That makes sense. He wants to keep the paladin up there. He only deals damage to the sh shaman, which is honestly not bad. For me, at least. Let's see if we can enchant both the paladin and his treant by playing it like... Right here at this angle. Yes, look at that. We actually got both units right there. Alright, that's good. Um, he might multi-hit the shaman, but the shaman should survive. No, he's going after the... No, never mind. No, he's going after the tree, uh, sorry, the paladin right there. And he hits the shaman only once. Whew. He almost hit it twice. That was, I'm go I was going to be upset. This should enchant the wraith, hopefully, by hitting the cannon at him. There we go. There we go. There we go. Look at the damage right there. Ooh -wee. All right, so let's see what he does with his treant. The only one who hasn't, has been enchanted is his drakeling. I don't know if we're going to be able to enchant him. Hopefully the tree, uh... Well, the shaman should survive here. Ooh, ooh, okay, okay. That was a little bit of a, a lot of damage that I anticipated, but that's fine. Let's, um, I guess multi-hit the paladin, so that way he we can remove his healer. Um, this will be a double hit. There we go. Nice little double hit right there. The paladin only has 568, so the frost fox and the naga can take him out in one hit. The shaman would need two, and the paladin, unless the paladin dies here. Okay, so yeah, my Paladin is dead, but that's fine. All we gotta do now is just um, enchant his Drakeling here. 
We might be able to double hit and then push it towards the Naga. Let's see. No, we do triple hit the Drakeling though and heal up the Frostbox there. Okay, so that was pretty good. That was very good. He's going to heal up the Drakeling for sure. No, he's going after the Shaman, which is not the greatest play. Oh, lots of cannon, uh, lots of fireball damage right there, but thankfully he missed them all. Let's, um... We gotta be careful where we place the tree because because he can definitely, you know, take out any troop if we do this wrong. We'll just do this, heal up the Frost Fox twice. Oh, and the Naga stayed up there. That was clutch. I mean, he'll probably go down to get the attack buff and then hit the Naga and the Shaman, but he can only do it once. The Shaman twice, so the Shaman is going to die. The Shaman is going to die, but not the Naga. Oh, no, wait, no, the Naga is actually still alive. Okay. So let's actually, you know, just hit the Drakeling towards the Frost Fox so make him heal up once more. Oh, and also the tree and Oh, wait a second. Oh, imagine. Imagine hitting the Drakeling again. Wow. All right, so he's going to take out the shaman. That okay? No, he's going to use the cannon. That's that's a better play. Thankfully, you know his fireballs are missing everybody, and that's good that he's missing. And with the frost fox going next, let's just heal him up once more. And then all we gotta worry about is just a wraith. And yep, there you go. We got you know the frost fox hugging the wall, so that way the wraith can even multi hit him. I don't think he's gonna be able to take out the naga. Honestly, I don't think he can. He's giving me the thumbs up. Let me give him the lovely knight face. Right here, lovely knight. And uh, all we need now is one hit, right, from the Naga? Two, yeah, one hit. It's more than enough. There we go. There we go. And we have a our fifth win right there. And this person actually had almost 4,000 trophies. So we are going to get a decent amount of trophies right here. 53 because we have a win streak going on. Let's freaking go. We are 3871. Hey, we're doing awesome. We're doing awesome. Let's continue on. The Wolf Pack. Okay, so we might not win this one, guys. We might not win this one. This this clan is very strong. Um, so he's going to push the Scarecrow for damage. That makes sense. The sh okay, this is going to hurt quite a bit. The best thing we can do is just heal up the Naga and enchant the Scarecrow. That's the best thing we can do here. Uh, sadly, we do damage to the werewolf. I did not mean to do that. I did not mean to damage the werewolf because now the werewolf has her ability up. He might just take out... Okay, thankfully... Okay, thankfully it wasn't too much. Uh, this angle, we can actually, you know, heal up the Frost Fox and the Shaman here. And hopefully we can deal damage to his Calamancer, maybe? Yes, we do. Ooh, okay, decent amount of damage to the Calamancer. Um, but sadly, we might lose a Frost Fox here. Yeah, it's going to multi-hit the Frost Fox. Also hitting the Shaman, maybe? Nope. Oh, please don't get a third hit. Nah. Come on. Come on. All right. So let's hit the Scarecrow. And we should enchant his champion. So right here should do the trick. There we go. Also hitting the Werewolf with the cannon. Thankfully, the Werewolf did not hit the, the Paladin because she did not get into a Werewolf form just yet, which is good. We... Let's just heal up the shaman here. We might we might accidentally hit the werewolf, but that's fine. Yeah, we do. We actually enchanted the werewolf, so we'll take it. We actually got three units enchanted. And, you know, of course we got the naga. Oh, uh, the naga might not survive here. If he pushes it towards the cat. No, never mind. We're still good. We're still good. We're still good. We're still good. Ladies and gentlemen, we are still good. Um... I mean, I guess the best thing we can do is just push the Naga towards the Cannonman, so we don't have a good play here. We really don't. Uh, also hitting the Werewolf, okay. Um, he's going after the Shaman, which is not the play that you want to do, honestly. You really don't want to do that, but... I mean, I'll take it. You know, with the Naga going next, let's see if we can uh, just heal up the Naga while hitting the Cannonman, sir. Yes, we were. Yes, we were. All right. Um, at least we do have everybody enchanted. He's going to hit the Naga and the Paladin. Oh, no, he's going to hit the Paladin, isn't he? Yep, he got it. Okay, so well played. So well played on your part. Well played. All right, so what? Scarecrow does go next. So I'm not worried about the Scarecrow. So I guess we will deal direct damage to the champion, or... Can we hit the Cannonmaster here plus the champion? 
I need to do this. There we go. 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 We took out the Cannon Master. Champion is already almost dead. Let's see what can we do here. This is dangerous, guys. He's going to use a cannon. Yeah, that, that, that would be the smart play. Use a cannon. A little bit damage to me, too. Godly. Um, the Naga has 300 health. Okay. Let's take out the champion because his ability will take me out. The Naga is, or sorry, the werewolf is only dealing like 80 damage if she doesn't get hit. So we don't want to hit her. So there you go with that. All right. Now we still lost because we couldn't take out the Scarecrow. So he either needs to push the Naga towards the Scarecrow or just hit the Scarecrow. Or even use the cannon and he'll take me out. This person is a very good player and we almost won. So you know what? I'll take the loss. He says good game. Let me give him the good game back. It was a good it, it was a good try, but we're only going to lose 10 trophies, and that's fine with me. Only 10. I'm very, very happy with lo losing 10 instead of losing 50. Um, it's all good. You know, we got five wins, right? With one loss. We're still doing pretty good. Let's continue on. Yokie doke, yokie doke. Let's see how what can we do in this matchup. Not sure about this clan, so not too certain how they play. It's an all-common deck with the exception of the cultists, okay? So it's going to multi-hit the shaman. Shaman gets hit with the ability and the knock and the paladin too. Wow, well played, my dude. Um, I cannot even enchant, I think, unless I push the I hit the cannon towards the shaman. Oh, look at the damage on the on the barbarian. Barbarian survived with only 300 health, but she will she is getting her attack buffs, which is very scary. Let's enchant the cultist, I guess. Let's see if the cannon takes out the barbarian. Yes, we were. All right, so thankfully we took out the Barbarian because the Barbarian was doing 1,100 damage. Look at that. We didn't want that. All right, so let's see if we can enchant the last two units right here. If the Shaman survives. Yes. We can also heal up the Shaman here while hitting the Mice Bandit, hopefully. Let's see. Yes, we were. Also got the Yeti. All right, so that's good because everybody's enchanted. Even though this is getting very close, what's saving me right now is that we actually got everybody um, enchanted. And this is good because we can actually heal up the Frostbox here while hitting the Mice Bandit. Also, shooting the cannon right there. Let's freaking go. We also got, you know, the Shaman healed up. Frostbox healed up. We did damage to everybody. Plus, we took out this Mice Bandit. Let's freaking go. Alright, so hopefully he doesn't go too crazy with the runes. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Uh, but we're still fine, honestly. We're still fine. Um, I guess we'll do this. Heal up the Naga. Let's see if we can hit the Yeti. I don't know. No, we don't hit the Yeti, but we do deal damage to the Cultist. I'll take it. I'll take it any day. He is going to do that. Frostfuck should stay alive. Um, I don't have a good play here. I mean, of course, other than, you know, hitting the Cultist, I guess. So we'll do that. Hitting the Yeti again. Okay. Hey, we hit both units once. I'll take it. I just need him to not go crazy with the cultist. Is the Naga dead? Naga's alive. I think we can push Naga to deal damage down there. Let's see. There you go. All to the Yeti. Yeti's dead. Okay. So, the cultist is the only one left alive. Cultist has 1200 health. We can take him out with the Naga in one hit. The Frost Fox will need two if the Frost Fox survives this. Yep, alright. So, yeah, all we gotta do is just push the Frost Fox, or sorry, the Cultist towards the Shaman. And that should be GG's. Bada bing, bada boom. Very close game. Because, you know, my Shaman had 300 health. Naga had 500 health. The Frost Fox had 500 health. So... A very close match in the end there, but we managed to get a good victory right there. We got 38.90. We're just less than 100 trophies away, or a little over 100 trophies away from getting to 4,000 trophies. Can we actually get there? Let's find out. Let's continue on. Yo, doke. All right, so... So far, we're doing good. We only have one loss in the box. Okay, Banshee Yeti combo. Do not like this at all. And let's actually... I would like to enchant, but we're, I don't think we're going to be able to. So let's just push the Yeti downwards. There we go. Ooh, okay. Okay. That was like 1,700 damage to the Yeti, right? Yeah, more or less 1,700 damage. That was good. Ugh, Frostfox took a lot of damage. Frostfox took a lot of damage. 
Let's see if we can enchant um, that goblin. We don't want the goblin to get the speed buff there. Um, this will also heal up the Frostfox, which is good. Let's see. Uh, we sadly don't enchant the goblin there, but we still did massive damage to his goblin. Plus, heal up the the um, the Frostfox a bit. Okay, 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 okay. I thought he was going to take out my my goblin. He didn't. Um, can we inch? Can we do? We can do this. We can actually push the Naga towards the, uh, the Banshee. They should also enchant the goblin. Goblin's dead. Perfect. Perfection. All right. So his goblin is dead. Um, level 23 cultist, so up. Thankfully not as dangerous as the level 25, obviously. But, um, he can still mess the damage with his runes. His rune still does over a thousand damage. So he's going to hit both the Shaman and the Naga here. Oh, my Paladin died. My Paladin died. Can we double hit his, um, cultist here? And then hopefully shoot the cannon towards the Banshee and the Yeti. Ooh! I mean, the, the cannon did not hit the Banshee and the Yeti, but the Frostfox was able to double hit the Yeti. The Banshee got hit somehow, so did the cannon... Did the cannon hit? I, I, I didn't realize. I did not realize. And his Banshee is enchanted, so her speed is nerfed, plus her damage is nerfed. So, nothing too scary is going to happen here. At least in my opinion, nothing scary should happen here. Other than, you know, hitting the, sh the Shaman twice, that's fine with me. Let's, you know, take out that Yeti. We don't want a speedy Yeti going next. There we go. Oh, almost hitting the Banshee. But there you go. We should definitely handle a lone Banshee, a level 24 Banshee, you know, with the Naga and the Frost Fox. Frost Fox can use his ability. Naga can use his, uh, her ability. We should be fine. Um, Shaman does go next. So let's actually just, you know, push the Banshee towards the Naga. Just to take her out, hopefully. Yes, there you go. We actually got the double hit right there. And we just got another one. Let's freaking go. This should make us win like 28 trophies. Let me give him the good game. 25 trophies. We are at 39.15. There we go with that, ladies and gentlemen. 39.15. Just a little bit more to get to 4,000 trophies. Can we actually get there? Let's find out. Let's continue on. Yo, Kidok. Didn't we just face this person? I, I don't remember. Um, It seems like we did. Wait a second. Oh, I re that's why I recognize this person. This person is the number one player in the world right now. <laughs> Okie doke. Ladies and gentlemen, we are facing the number one player in the world right now. This person has 11,000 trophies. He's about to get to, you know, 12,000 trophies. Can we push the shaman towards, you know, to try to enchant? Let's see. We do get the cannonmaster enchanted, all right, but he can easily, you know, um, double hit the, the naga and the paladin here with the cannonmaster. Oh boy, this is going to hurt quite a bit, quite a bit. Only the Naga, okay. Uh, plus, of course, he's using the Thunder Pass's ability, well played. He might triple hit the Naga here. Okay, no, thankfully he missed. Okay, barely, but he missed. Um, let's heal up the Naga, or at least try to, and let's see if we can push it up towards the Cannamancer. We failed to hit the Naga, or heal up the Naga. Okay, we are not going to win this one, guys. Already letting you guys know we are not going to win this one. This, this... This deck is just way too much. Way too much. I mean, we might be able to figure out a way to win if I... I would need the Frost Fox to play incredibly well. By having these guys enchanted. Actually, let's just do this. And let's see if we can enchant, um, you know, all three maybe? Probably not. We'll see. Wow, I missed the... Um, Either the, you know, Archon and the Thunder Pass, which I really wanted to get at least two units there, not miss. I think we're going to, t uh, yep, I think the Shaman is dead. Yep, the Shaman is dead. Yeah, we're not going to win this one, guys. Yep, number one player in the world. I got destroyed by them. I mean, we are still in the game, I guess. Try to keep the, fr the Frost Fox alive. Let's see. I mean, cool. we managed to heal up the Frost Fox a little bit, but all we gotta do is just hit the Thunder Pulse twice, I believe. Yep, there you go. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, there, yeah. there's nothing I could have done there. Number one player in the world destroyed me, but at least we only lost 10 trophies there, that's why. I, that, that's why I recognize that person, because I recognize that he is the number one player in the world, I just... Cannot believe I just got massacred by them. But what can you do, right? We just need 95 more trophies to get to 4,000. Can we do it? Fingers crossed. All right. Come on. 
I would like to get to 4,000 trophies, please. Ooh, Sorceress Naga combo. Not a big fan of that. He does have a low, level 21 werewolf, which doesn't work with me too much. Can we enchant his Naga at least? I don't think we're going to be able to get the Sorceress, but at least enchant the Naga. There you go. Oh, the tree and two. Okay, okay. We actually got the tree in as well. Not too bad. He is going to try to enchant. And if he if he hugs the wall by hitting the corner, we he might be able to get he, he might be able to enchant all three of them down there. Let's see. He might not be able to do it if he plays it that way. Yeah, he failed because he did not play like I was telling him to play. Um I don't have a good angle, sadly. I really don't. I guess we just hit the sorceress like this. Cannonball? Ah, missed. At least we got the, the sorceress once. If we can take out the sorceress before he enchants my units, which it might be too late right now. Yep, the naga will get enchanted right there, sadly. Um. Again, we don't have a good play here. We can, you know, of course, hit the frost fox downwards. Ooh, heal up the Frost Fox. Okay, that's good. We healed up the Frost Fox's Mitch, and only one unit is enchanted with the Sorceress enchantments, and I'm okay with that. He is going after the Shaman. Wow, the Shaman just almost died right there. Golly. Can we take out the Sorceress, please, before he enchants my units? There you go. There you go. There you go. Sorceress is dead. So only the Naga is enchanted, so his Naga can only work on my... Probability on my Naga, which is fine. Ooh, plus the attack buff from the Treant? That's going to hurt. Oh no, he doesn't get the attack buff. Okay. So we could he enchant the Werewolf. I think we can enchant the Werewolf here. So let's just do this right here. There we go. Alright, so even though we, you know, we got the Werewolf's ability activated. Only 500 damage, that's nothing. That is nothing other than, of course, he just took out the Shaman, but thankfully, you know, the Shaman already did his job. All we gotta do now is just focus on, I guess, the Naga. Just double hit the Naga here. Oop! Hitting the Treant too. Ooh! Taking out the Treant. Let's go! And his, you know, his Werewolf is only doing 41 damage whenever she doesn't have her Werewolf ability up, which is absurd. So he's just going to... Okay, my Naga is barely alive, but still hanging on, just to make his life a little bit... Actually, oh no, we cannot even hit his Naga. Um, let's just do this. Double heal the Naga. We might be able to push the Frost Fox towards the Werewolf. Oh no, we don't. We don't, but we pretty much brought the Naga back from the dead. Wow. He has to be upset. He has to be mad. I would be mad, for sure. He may have surrendered. Oh no, he's still in the game. Alright, so he's just going to deal a smidge of damage to both of them. He did he did manage to you know uh, hit the Naga for like a thousand for like a thousand damage. Can we do this to hit the werewolf towards the Naga, hopefully? Yes we were. Also hitting his Naga with the Paladin. I got lucky there. Alright, so his Naga has 400 health. Werewolf has 1300. My Naga or sorry, yeah, my Naga is dead, that's fine. All we gotta do is just, um, I guess, double hit his werewolf. Since his werewolf right now is doing the most damage right here, let's just take her out real quick. He surrendered, let's freaking go. Okie doke. So a win right there, that's only going to be 10 trophies because we are like 350 trophies more than he does. So, yeah, only 10 trophies, which is nothing for me. Still trying to get to 4,000 trophies. Let's see if we can actually get there. All right, so... Hopefully we do face someone that has about the similar amount of trophies and we uh, that we do. Well, kind of, sort of. You know, we can win like 20 trophies if we do beat this guy. So let's see what he does first with his Paladin, which is a bad start for him. He's going to get the attack buff, it seems like, or trying to buff up the Warrior, maybe? Uh, only the cannon. He only did well, he only did the cannon play, which is nothing. Uh, let's see if we can enchant some units here. Um, or should we just hit the Paladin first and then we'll enchant somebody else, maybe? Let's see. Woo! We got three units enchanted. That's perfect. Um, he might just hit the Shaman towards the Mice Bandit. He might get hit twice. He's going after the Paladin. That was not a good play in my opinion, guys. That was not a good play. Um, I mean, even though my units are hurt, they will need to get healed. So let's just go for damage here. Let's just go for damage, yeah. Just hit, just hit as much as possible there. Uh, he's definitely going to hit both the Paladin and the, mice, and the Shaman there with the Mice Bandit. 
that's not going to do too much to me other than of course his ability will make him use like a will make it hit like a thousand damage to the it seems like he will go after the paladin might heal up his mice bandit yes he does okay so let's let's actually hit the treant here and we might be able to enchant the mice bandit by pushing the treant towards the shaman and shaman hopefully gets moved towards the mice bandit Yes, we were. Let's freaking go, guys. Let's freaking go. Everybody's enchanted. The Mice Bandit survived with only 100 health. That's hilarious. Ooh, my Paladin is going to die here. Heals up his his Mice Bandit. Well played. Um, but all we gotta do now is... Let's just hit the, the, um, the Paladin towards the Naga. This should hit the Mice Bandit. Cannon goes crazy. Let's freaking go. Let's freaking go. We got two units down. The last two, two units are not attackers. He knows that he surrendered right there. So, 22 trophies. Um, so we are 39-37. Um, I don't think we can even open any or more orbs, but I would like to get to 4,000 trophies. Let's see. Fingers crossed if we can actually get there. All right, so now we're at the point where if we start winning now, we are going to get a win streak. So hopefully we do win. And this person does have almost the same amount of trophies as I do. So if we do win, we'll win about 30. So he's going after my shaman, since the shaman does go first. He thankfully only hits the shaman once, but sadly though, we don't have a good angle here. Yeah, we cannot we cannot do too much. I don't think we can even enchant. Yeah, I don't think we can do anything. I would like to enchant, honestly, but we don't have a good angle. Um, other than of course, you know, hitting the Jaguar, maybe. Yeah, I guess we'll hit the Jaguar. No, no, that was a bad play. I would have preferred to heal up the Shaman, but we, we didn't have a good angle other than that, you know? Oh, my... Oh, my Naga's dead! Wow, dude, my Naga just died. Can we even... We need a huge comeback here. So let's heal up the Shaman here and uh, enchant the Mice Bandit. I mean, that's the best I can do, I guess. There you go. Cannon hits the Warrior and the Barbarian. That was lucky. That was lucky. Um, let's see if the Shaman does survive here. Oof. Shaman died. Shaman died. So we cannot even enchant the other units, sadly. So we're going to have to focus on dealing damage to the one that are not enchanted first. Real quick. So that way we can focus on the ones that are enchanted at the last man. As the last man unit, even though... He does have Jaguar. And I'm afraid of the Jaguar leaving him alive as the last man unit. He might just take out the Paladin here. Paladin, thankfully, no, thankfully he does he doesn't take out the paladin here. Let's just use the cannon to hit uh both of these guys. We might be able to make the paladin hit somebody else. Yes, we were. Yes, we were. But sadly, look at this. Jaguar will deal lots of damage to this. Frost Fox. He will hit the No, it's just going after the Frost Fox, okay. He wants to hit the paladin as well. Makes Ah no! We just lost. Good game. So we are going to lose like 30, 30 trophies. That sucks. That sucks. All right. So we dropped down to 3,900. Let's see if we can win. Let's see. All right. So that was a bad, bad loss there. He he got me good. He got me good with that Jaguar. He has an all enchantment deck, all level 22. So if we don't win this one, I'm going to be pretty upset. He missed it. Wow. He missed the enchantment right there. All right. So let's just enchant the, the, the zombie, I guess. Let's do that real quick. Also hitting his, you know, his striker. His zombie's doing how much damage? Only 21. That's funny. He might, he is now going to enchant, it seems like. Chance the paladin. That's fine. Oh, lots of damage. Ouchie. Lots of damage right there. Let's take out the zombie. So that way he doesn't enchant anyone with poison. Oh, also dealing damage with the cannon. Let's go. And healing up the Shaman too. That was lucky. Alright, so let's see what he does here. He's going for the cannon. Makes sense. Makes sense. And my Shaman will get enchanted. Okay. Um, let's um, let's lower the Banshee's damage maybe. We also got the Sorceress. Let's go. Alright. So the Banshee is doing 300 damage. Thankfully, they're all level 22. So this is kind of an easy win. We could still lose, imagine that. We could still lose. Look at that. Like we he enchanted my frost fox there. So let's enchant the striker here. And let's see if we can make the Naga go up and deal damage. Yes, we do to the sorceress. Let's freaking go. Also took out his striker. 
All right, so what we gotta do is just take out the sorceress, and then we'll be fine taking out the banshee. He's just going to deal damage to my frost fox. Frost fox will take how much damage? Like 800, maybe 800 damage, right? Yeah, 870 damage. Wow, times three. Ooh, that hurts. That hurts a lot. Um, we'll do this just to deal deal damage to the banshee right there. Ooh, taking out the sorceress as well. Let's freaking go. Banshee only has 300 uh, 300 health, so anyone can take out the banshee. So she pretty much has one more chance. He will take out the shaman. That's fine. So we are going to win this match, thankfully. So let's do this right here. All right, so. I'm going to continue attempting to get to 4,000 trophies, but if I do this, if I if I lose once, I'm going to call it quits. So I'm going to continue, hopefully, to get to 4,000 trophies. All right. So, like I said, um, ooh, this is going to be a little bit difficult, but let's see what can we do. Um, oof, not good, because I I would like to enchant, but that's not that's not gonna happen. I mean, I guess we just hit the golem directly. Yeah, let's just hit the golem directly. Oh, we actually enchanted the farmer. Let's go. Let's go. We actually enchanted the farmer. So this person is at 3,700. So if we win, we're probably going to win like 15 maybe. And uh, look at this. We can actually double hit the farmer here. So let's do this. Just pass the damage dealers. Just take them out. Almost taking out the farmer fully. Wow. That was very, very close. So he's going to hit the Naga and the Shaman only once, thankfully. Yep, that's fine. I'll take it only once. Let's, um, I don't think we're going to be able to heal up the Shaman, but let's see. He surrendered? Let's go! He surrendered. I mean, in my opinion, anything could have still happened, but he surrendered. All right. So, an easy victory for us. Uh, 19. Okay, we'll take the almost 20 trophies there. 39, 30. 70 more trophies to go. Let's see if we can get there. All right. So that was a pretty easy victory, even though it's one of the strongest decks, or used to be the strongest deck. Ooh, my old deck from back back in 2020. Can we enchant? We're going to take the chance here. Let's see if we can enchant. Either the zombie or the striker or somebody. We do get the zombie. All right, so the zombie does go next. So you know what? Enchanting him was pretty okay. He's only doing like 60 damage. Yeah, 66 damage. The poison will, you know, get to me soon. But hey, we got, you know... We got him enchanted. Let's enchant the Naga here and the Golem. There you go. Sadly, you know, Frost Fox and the Naga are poisoned. The, he, the, yeah, the Frost Fox is going to take a lot of damage, or he might just go after both of them, honestly. No, he's going after the Frost Fox, going to hit him twice. Three times. Never mind. My Frost Fox is dead. It is dead. Hopefully, we, hopefully we can win this one. Let's actually enchant the Striker here. I think think right here single to enchant the striker right he oh gosh right here there you go we actually enchanted the striker also dealing damage to the zombie with the with the cannon now we just need to keep the naga alive somehow we have to somehow keep the naga alive because we need we need to take out his naga and the striker so that way he doesn't deal too much damage to me oh well uh, the Paladin will take a lot of damage there too, but I mean, what can you do? And sadly, we don't have a good angle to deal damage to his Naga nor the Striker here. Um, other than using this cannon, if we can hit the... Ooh! We actually did damage to the Naga. I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take it. Now, he's definitely going to try to deal damage to my Naga. Let's see if he can make this work. Yep, my Naga is dead, isn't she? My Naga... No, my Naga is alive. Wow. Okay. Um... We have, to, we have to take advantage of the damage and just hope for the best. Take advantage of the damage. Take advantage of the damage. All right, so he is, he's going to take out the, the Naga. And my Shaman is enchanted, sadly. So, all right. So this is a, this is a predicament for sure. This is a predicament. I need to figure out a way to lower the Naga's damage. I would like to take out a Striker, so let's do that. Let's take out a Striker. Hit his Golem. Ah, we literally gave him a, a, a line of sight to just make him hit the Shaman with the Naga. So, if he gets a double hit here, then we're not going to win. Let's see what he does. 
Thankfully, he doesn't get a double hit, but of course, the Tremor is slowly taking me out as well. So let's see if we can... Uh, let's see if we can make the Shaman go up and hit the Golem. Yeah, we were. All right, so there you go with that. All right, so we have how much health? 1,600. Zombie has 3,400. Golly. And the Golem has 1,600 as well, like the Shaman. So his main damage is going to be the Tremor and the Cannon. And the Tremor will get me here, sadly. And the Poison. So let's see if we can double hit the Golem here and then hit the, the Zombie. We were actually able to double hit the Golem. Nice, nice. And let's see what he does. He's going to just push the Shaman towards the Golem. He does get the hit, and of course, he will continuously play around with the Tremor and Poison. Um, yeah, we're not going to win this one, guys. We can try to take out his Golem here. Yep, there you go. And of course, we got another hit off the Zombie, but sadly, that is going to be a loss. GG's. Uh, all he needs is one hit, and then the Poison will take me out. That was a good run. That was a good one. Almost got to 4,000 trophies. It, it got very close, but sadly I wasn't able to pull off the 4,000 trophies win. But you never know. I might be able to get it before the end of the season. But what can you do, right? I really tried my best, but sadly I wasn't able to get there. But regardless of not getting there, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And if you did, please make sure to hit the like button down below and subscribe to the channel for more Smashing 4 videos. That was a great run. You know, from 3,600-ish, we got to 38. Well, technically 3,900. I just went back down. But honestly, it was a pretty awesome run overall. If you guys have any recommendations that you want to see, just throw them down in the comments below, and I'll certainly do it for you guys. Thank you so much for watching this video, and thanks again for your continued support. I will see you in the next one. Take care.